When it comes to cheesesteak, there's a couple things you gotta look at for what you like. So there it is, the true secret to why people prefer one cheesesteak to the other. Find out the truth about the Philly cheesesteak coming up next. What's up, Jcationers? We're here in Philly and we're trying out the top five Philly cheesesteaks. So stay tuned, check it out, and find out what the difference is between consistency on the meat, the cheeses, the onions, mushrooms, and everything else. On our first stop to finding the best Philly cheesesteak, we had to visit where it all began. In 1930, Pat's King of Steaks opened in South Philly, which was ran and operated by the Olivieri family. They consider themselves the inventor and originator of the cheesesteak sandwich. Hi, JK Shiner. So we've made it to South Philly to where Pat's and to where Gino's Steaks is. These are the two most touristy spots for Philly cheesesteaks. The biggest debate in Philly is Pat's versus Gino's. That's Pat's and then that's Gino's. It's one or the other. For this video, I want to highlight five other spots other than Gino's, other than Pat's. When ordering, people who work at these establishments are direct and efficient. A few terms to know ahead of time is wit, which is Philly speak for with onions, and then you have without for without onions. Whiz refers to cheese whiz, so whiz wit would mean a cheesesteak with whiz cheese and with grilled onions. So when you're here at Pat's, uh, just know that it's cash only, so make sure you have your cash, you have your good old Abe Lincolns and Ben Franklins. Pat's cheesesteak is basically your on-the-go sandwich. It's made quickly for the lunch rush, and this particular sandwich was kind of dry. So teamwork makes the dream work. So I'll split this one because doing a top five Philly cheesesteaks in three days, can't eat that much. The meat is not chopped up very much, but the pieces are a little more cut up and less chunky than their competitor, which you'll see at Gino's. The whiz and onions were also kind of just thrown on top. All right, so this is the Pat's cheesesteak. The onions aren't grilled. They're a little raw, and the meat's not as sliced up. Yeah, it's not as cut up. A little more chewy than in other places. You get a little more of the onion, the onion pop. I always love the whiz. The whiz is good. I mean, it's a great cheesesteak, but it's not as cut up. So the big war through the years is Pat's and Gino's. Gino's is there. We're gonna go try that next. But next on the list is Tony Luke's. And Tony Luke's has its own locations, but you can also go to Citizens Bank Ballpark where the Phillies play and pick up some Tony Luke's. So check out this clip. There it is, Tony Luke's, and look at the line. Good guess. Tony Luke's is also in South Philly, but due to time constraints, I tried it at the Phillies game on my previous trip to Philly. Many locals swear by this establishment and love the thicker consistency of the meat and how the onions and cheese are a lot more mixed in. It may not look pretty, but the taste was definitely a lot richer. From Pat's, we turned our attention over across the street to their main competitor, Gino's. So my man Mike, so I'm you back. weren't feeling this? I'm not feeling the Pat's. I think that the meat is just too thick, it's too chewy. I definitely like the Ishkabibbles, gems more, sliced, chopped up, cooked onions. Before we move on with this video, I do understand that there is no definite top five as you'll learn everyone has their own opinion of the best cheesesteak in Philly. So this top five will be my own personal experience with the places that I had time to actually go and visit. Gino's calls themselves the best cheesesteak in Philly and is definitely the most commercially known. The pieces of steak in the cheesesteak are very thick, almost like the consistency of the raw meat I would get in a bowl of Vietnamese pho. If you prefer your pieces of steak to be a lot thicker, you will definitely love this cheesesteak. So we're gonna take the bite out of Gino's. Like Pat's and Gino's have the thicker consistency with the steak. It's not as chopped up. They do still have the cheese whiz. The onions are still kinda, you know, kinda raw, so. It's like, not as dry as the other one, no. though. Yesterday's for me was my favorite. I think I might like Gino's more than I like Pat. I like the consistency of the meat. The one I found too dry, and like I said, I got a bite of tendon or something. <laughs> to be honest. 
I did enjoy the tribute to law enforcement at Geno's, but out of Geno's, Pat's, and Tony Luke's, only Tony Luke's cracked the top five on my list. I remember, this is where they did the Motown Philly video. This is so awesome. I love this stuff. Now check this out. One day back in Philly, four guys wanted to sing. Passing through Philly Airport, well, they have a Geno's right at the terminal. All right, guys, so if you're short on time and you want to try out Geno's and you only can get here to the airport, they have a Geno's Steaks here in Gate B, in the domestic side. So go check out Geno's if you fancy some Geno's. Next up on the list is Sunny's. It's in Old City, so it's near all the older landmarks like Independence Hall, the Liberty Bell. So check this video out. We made it in Sunny's. Grab that cheesesteak. Sunny's is more in the touristy part of town, but a great late night option, especially if you're out drinking in the area. The consistency of this meat is not as chopped up, but the cheese and onions and mushrooms are mixed in really well with the meat, and having it be a night out drinking definitely heightened my taste buds, so this makes number four on my list. We got the cheese whiz, blue cheese, phenomenal. With the coolest Uber driver, this is Muse. What's up, man? Good, man. Philadelphia. Beautiful city. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite cheese steak? Oh, you go to Gino's or Pat's steak. Gino's or Pat's. You like the, you like the, the classic ones. Huh? Yes. The classics. In, uh, South Philadelphia. South Philly. South Philly. We're headed over to the Visit Philly offices right now. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to shout out my guy right here. We are now moving away from the thicker consistency style of cheesesteaks to more of the chopped up meat in the cheesesteaks, which is what I prefer when searching for my favorite cheesesteak in Philadelphia. Just to be sentimental, let's flash back to the very first cheesesteak that I tried in Philly. This was back on my first Visit Philly trip in 2016. Had my first Philly cheesesteak of the trip. I'm sure it's not gonna be the last. I need one with cheese whiz, but this one was good. This is Jim Steaks in South Philly. It's really popular, but the line can get really, really long. Today we're going to Ishka Bibbles for the next one on the top five list, but this is Jim Steaks. Um, it's another spot that's really popular here, and a lot of people prefer it and say it's their favorite one, but the line is so long and time's a wasting, and I was actually planning on doing Ishka Bibbles. Thanks to Death by Vlog. Stacia and Ryan for the suggestion, so we're going over to Ishka Bibbles to meet up with some family. Ishka Bibbles too is just down the street from Jim Steaks and has more seating and takes credit cards. I'm here with my cousins and my nieces. What's up guys? But hi. <laughs> we're here at Ishka Bibbles too. There's two locations. There's the first Ishka Bibbles over near Jim's. They don't have seating like this and there was no line, so we're eating it. Did you like it? Did you take a bite yet? Uh, I didn't get but That looks unhealthy right there. Look at that. No, that does look oh amazing. You got it with cheese whiz? You got it with the cheese whiz. <laughs> Interesting. Hi, Melise. I'm not <laughs> hiding behind giant cheesesteak. On this visit, I wanted a little variety, so I tried the chicken cheesesteak, which is similar to Ishka Bibble's normal cheesesteak, being that it's more chopped up. I got the chicken cheesesteak with mushrooms and cheese whiz. I'm gonna put some ketchup on it. We'll see how it goes. There was way too much cheese, but amazingly, it actually tastes pretty good. Did I feel good after? Not really. So I just vomited in the bathroom. <laughs> just kidding. This is different because it's chicken. The cheese whiz definitely makes it taste more Philly-like. Mushrooms are what makes it healthy. <laughs> so yeah, this, this definitely makes the list. This is the latter half of the list, but it's not one. And if you want to come here, there's tables. So the other one is probably less seating. If you're looking for a place to sit and enjoy your cheesesteak, Ishka Bibbles too is definitely a great spot. As for Jim Steaks, I feel like it would definitely have made my list being that the meat is diced up and chopped up really well, but I guess I'll never know until I actually try it. So for those of y'all that only have credit cards, Jim's is cash only right over there. But uh, Ishka Bibbles takes card. So if you want to take card, you go to Ishka Bibbles. Look at that line. If you go to Jim's, you can buy your cheesesteak and take it across the street and have a beer and fries at Milk Boy. The great thing about Milk Boy is that they're happy to have you eat your Jim's steak at their establishment as long as you order something from their menu. 
Just across the street is the original Ishka Bibbles, which you can see is a lot smaller than Ishka Bibbles too. So that was the first Ishka Bibbles. Yeah, it's a lot smaller, and my niece said that she felt depressed going in there, so go to Ishka Bibbles too. You'll still feel the same way after eating a cheesesteak regardless. Just not feel feel real good. Pagano's, <laughs> Pagano's cheesesteaks. Right, Best cheesesteak. Cool. Right, brother. He said Pagano's is the spot to hit for Philly cheesesteaks, so we might put that on the uh, list. Unfortunately, we didn't get to venture out to Pagano's as it was way out there, way past North Philadelphia. Hi, Jake Asianers. So we're here in the central city. Uh, we just met, met up with Visit Philly and hung out a little bit at the offices and uh, getting ready for the weekend. We're gonna head over and grab some Philly cheesesteaks now. Let's go. With a lot of cheesesteak spots spread out around the entire city of Philadelphia, here are a few places that viewers recommend in trying that I didn't get to visit. First is Max's Steaks in Germantown and Lorenzo's Pizza in South Philadelphia. I'll make sure to give you a few more spots later on in the video. What's up Jaycationers? We're here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at Reading Terminal Market. We're gonna try one of the first Philly cheesesteaks on this top five Philly cheesesteaks list. So let's go in and check it out. Reading Terminal Market has been open since 1893 and is one of America's largest and oldest markets. With a majority of the popular Philly cheesesteak spots being in South Philly, Carmen's Hoagies inside Reading Terminal Market is popular among tourists visiting this classic public market. Hi, JK Schinner. So next on the list is Carmen's Hoagies here in Reading Terminal Market. We're gonna fall in this line and pick up the cheesesteak, so check it out. While you wait in line, you can watch the cooks hard at work slicing and dicing the meat on the grill while mixing in the seasoning, peppers, and whatever else you may add. They chop up the meat pretty nicely here. When it comes to cheese, you can never go wrong with Whiz, but for this cheesesteak, I went with the provolone. Alright guys, so I was in line for about 15-20 minutes. What you do is you order. So I ordered the cheesesteak with provolone with onions. Uh, pickled, hot peppers, and mushrooms. So now I'm waiting for it. It was about $12.69. They give you this play card here with the Carmen's logo in the front. And then you just wait over here and get it. I'm probably just gonna take it back to the hotel and eat it there and let you guys know how it tastes. Little travel tip for Reading Terminal Market. Head to the back where the restrooms are and you'll find tables where you can stand up and eat your cheesesteak. All right, guys, so we found a spot to eat here in Reading Terminal Market. They have some tables over in the corner, so I decided just to eat here. I'm hungry. I'm starving, so we got the cheesesteak at Carmen's. Here it is. They put in a little to-go bag. Now, this sandwich didn't look very aesthetically pleasing, but that didn't matter. With the meat nice and chopped up from the grill and the cheese blended in with the meat to sneak into every little crevice, this cheesesteak was definitely more of my preference. All right, guys, so we got the customized Philly cheesesteak with uh, provolone. You can get American cheese, you can get the Whiz. We're gonna try the Whiz in another um, cheesesteak spot. We got the provolone here with mushrooms and onions and hot peppers. So let's go check it out. They'll cut it in half for you. Look at that, it's still piping hot. Let's take our first bite out of it. Mmm. That's the cheesy stuff, I love it. Mm, there's flavor to it. Love the meat. The pickled hot pepper is really good. You gotta have mushrooms. I love mushrooms in my cheesesteak, so. It's a winner. <laughs> so the bread is pretty decent. It's really chewy. And I'm almost full and there's only half of this. I know I'm kind of weak and I'm pretty hungry too. Final bites. We've done Reading Terminal Market in the past. We got Dinix. So. A different type of sandwich that is also popular in Philly is the roast pork sandwich with broccoli, Rob. I'm telling you, Philadelphians not only love their Brussels sprouts, but they also love broccoli, Rob. Another place I've been told that have amazing roast pork sandwiches and just as great cheesesteaks is John's Roast Pork, which is definitely an Uber right away in South Philadelphia. So it's a great place to go when in Philly. What's going on? Hi! What are your names? <laughs> Amira, Ty. Nice. Nice. From Philly? I'm Stefan. No, we're from, we're from, from Jersey. Where are we Jersey. from Jersey? Jersey. Yeah, we go to Kiss. That's great! 
We're all from the same place. <laughs> Y'all's having fun. Yeah. yeah, same to you, my boy. The number one place, according to my viewers, which I truly believe would have been my number one pick if I ever tried it, was D'Alessandro Steaks in Roxborough where they use premium ribeye for their steak and chop it up real nice and fine and mix in all the ingredients the way I want it. We're going to get a cheesesteak because... Late night cheesesteak spot in University City, Abner's. Abner's, okay. Great late night cheesesteak spot in University City. I trust Matthew, so what we're gonna do is a lot of carbs, a lot of cheese, a lot of meat. We made it to Abner's. This is Matt's call right here. Late night drinking in University City. Stay tuned for the truth behind finding your favorite cheesesteak on your next visit to Philly. What makes Abner's unique is that their meat is already chopped up and put into the grill using tongs. They dice it up even more and mix in the onions real nicely which distributes the flavor throughout the entire cheesesteak. Alright guys, we made it to Abner's here in University City. This is one of Matt's top picks for late night. I love cheese Abner's. Steak. It's a good cheesesteak. They cook it the right way, onions mixed in with the meat, whiz on. It's classic. A bunch of sides, you can get all the pickles you want if you're a pickle fiend like I am. Hot peppers, everything. You want that hot sauce, you got the hot sauce. I dig in, man. You first. Yeah, show that off a little bit. Mm. That's a good cheesesteak right there. Yep. And I got hot peppers. I put that hot sauce and that ketchup. So you know I'm about it. Alright guys, this is the uh, cheesesteak. Oh man, we got that grease, bro. We got that grease in it. This might be one of the better ones, dude, this whole trip. I actually might like it better. The onions, dog. That does it. So, when it comes to your preference when it comes to cheesesteaks, if you want to separate the meat and chop it up real nice. So the and cheese gets through the everything. Cheese gets through everything, the onions, you, whatever else you want to mix with it. You want to chop it up yeah. real well. And a place like Abner's chops it up real well. A place like Jim's chops it up Jim's, real well. Yep. Um, Steve's, they chop it up real well. But like Gino's, they don't really chop it up as much. So some mm. people may prefer that. They Gino's do. and Pat's don't, they don't separate the okay. meat very well. When it comes to cheesesteak, there's a couple things you gotta look at for what you like. If you like a little more of the toughness of the steak, then you want the steak to be a little more together. If you like a little more of the loosens of the steak and more of the cheese to get around everything, you want the steak to be a little more separate. So if you're looking at Pat's and Gino's, you're gonna get a little more together steak, which is a little more chewy, but it's a little more solid steak. If you want more of the cheese and stuff into the steak, then you're gonna want a little more of a separated steak. And you're going to you're going to want to go to some place like Abner's, Jim's on South Street, Ish Kabibbles is kind of the same way on South Street. You want them to separate the meat a little bit more so the onion and the cheese get into the meat because it makes the meat a little more moist. I hate that word. That's what she said. It makes the meat a little more moist and softer, and it makes it a more enjoyable experience for me. But if you like a tougher steak, if you like a more well done steak, then you're going to want to go to Pat's and Gino's because they don't separate it as well. So would you say that's where the debate is? Yeah. It all comes down to the way that you break up the steak. That's the most important thing because that determines where the cheese fits in, where the other juice, like the, if you get a, a long hot on the cheese steak, which I love a good long hot, but if you get the long hot on the cheese steak and you don't break the cheese steak up as well, you're getting a full long hot. But if you break up the cheese steak, you're gonna get pieces of it and the spice will be in different parts. So the way that you break up the cheese steak, the way that you break up the meat, is really what determines the style of cheese steak you get. Boom. And say so that's the bottom line because Maddie Smith says so. So there it is. That's the, that's the true secret to why people prefer 
one cheesesteak to the other. Whether they prefer the they chop up yeah, meat. Whether it's Pat's, Gino's, Jim's, Ishka Bibbles, Carmen's, mm -hmm. Abner's, whatnot. It depends on how they, how they chop, chop it all up and they, they mix it all together. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why this top five is probably a bunch of BS. Because it probably depends on your preference. Your preference. So there's a secret, guys. Go to all of them. Go to all of them. Go to every single one. Try them all. Get that heart attack. Like. Figure it all out. All right, guys. So here's the final rundown of my top five Philly cheesesteaks. We got Tony Luke's, Sonny's, Ishka Bibbles 2, Carmen's, and coming in at number one, Abner's. My bonus is D'Alessandro's because I feel like that would be my favorite if I got a chance to try it. All right, Jaycationers, so I hope you enjoyed this video of the top five Philly cheesesteaks in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He says cheesesteaks suck, bro. That's why you're not in the top five. Uh, they get special mention. Uh, comment below, what's your favorite cheesesteak? Is it Pat's versus Gino's? And what's your local favorite one? Was it D'Alessandro's, uh, Abner's? What is it? Let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh...